Hey guys, here I have my Sony Xperia X smartphone and in this video I'll be updating it to Android 7 Nougat. So you can see already I have a notification which says Xperia system update. If I tap on it, it says that it's the Android 7 operating system. And the update is quite big, it's around 1.2 gigabytes. so uh, you might want to connect to a Wi-Fi network if you're doing it on your phone. So if you don't get this update, don't worry guys, it will come. Uh, what you can do is go to settings, scroll down to about phone, head over to software update and um, refresh the system update menu and it should show up. If it doesn't show up, don't worry guys, the update will come for your smartphone. You just need to wait it out a little bit longer. Anyway, you can see currently we are running Android 6 Marshmallow. Here is the Marshmallow logo. And if you're curious, all your files, folders, and settings will still be there after the update is complete. So all your applications, all your messages, all your contacts, all your music, photos, everything will be exactly the way you left it after the update has been finished. So let's go ahead and see what all new features we are getting. We get multi-window support, longer battery life, new way to message. Uh, what really caught my eye is that this manual settings get creative with all new manual focus and shutter speed controls. So, if we head over to camera, you can see I'm already on the uh, manual mode. If I press this, there is no option here from which I can change my focus mode or adjust my shutter speed. Meanwhile, on the Xperia XZ, so yeah, this is my Xperia XZ, and if I press the uh, settings button over here I get these options where I can change the focus so this is set to infinity and this is the macro mode and also you get this manual shutter speed control which is pretty useful if you're shooting in low light environment so let's see whether or not we get these new features on the Xperia X after the update is complete right now it's not there Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start the download. All you got to do is tap on the notification and then tap on download. And the phone will start downloading the update. Now this will take a while because uh, it's quite a huge update. It's around 1.2 gigs. So I'm just going to leave the phone here and I'll be back when the uh, update is ready to install. Now a lot of you in my previous video keep asking me where I get my wallpapers from like the one on my home screen and the one on my lock screen. Well there is an application called wallpapers from me. You can go to the uh, play store and download it yourself. So this is the app icon. Just tap on it to launch and it will show you super amazing wallpapers. You get a menu over here. You can select different categories of wallpaper right now it's just showing new wallpapers so I've just tapped on popular so these are all the popular application popular wallpapers on the app so for example if I want to set this as my wallpaper just tap on set and select wide and tap on done and once the wallpaper has been set it will automatically get downloaded to your gallery so from here you can share it to your friends and family or set it as lock screen. It is that easy. And yeah, these images are super high resolution. So if I go to album again, open this up, you can see the image is pretty darn high res. So this is another one which I downloaded on the app. And this one as well. So yeah, like I said, the application's name is Wallpapers From Me, Wallpapers For Me. You can download this app on the Google Play Store. Ninety-nine percent downloaded. Anytime now. alright so it says ready to install I'm gonna tap continue okay from now on around it'll take around 20 minutes so 20 minutes to 
around half an hour and you won't be able to use your phone so keep that in mind while you're doing this so I'll tap install now and the phone will restart and start installing the update Alright, so you guys can see the update has just finished. So, let me see if I can use this. Here we are on the desktop. Now, this little cross you see over here is because the mobile data is disabled. So, once you enable the uh, mobile data, it should go away. So after the initial update it will take a few minutes for the phone to search for a valid network. So let's go ahead and wait for it. Alright so I rebooted the phone and now the network is back. Everything is up and running. And first off you'll notice that the notification bar is slightly different. You got these quick access icons. You can turn Bluetooth Wi-Fi on and off right from over here and if you pull this further down you'll see all your different settings these are all customizable so just press edit and you now you can change different change these icons so let me just so for say for example I wanna add this icon over here I can do this or I can make this icon change its position and I just press back and here we are and what I want to see here is whether or not the camera has all of those manual settings as promised uh, in the update so so in the camera you go, gotta go to manual and then press on this and yes here we are uh, here we are getting all the manual settings like the uh, shutter speed and the autofocus so right now it's set to infinite and this is the uh, macro mode and this is exactly the way and, and this is exactly like how it is on the Xperia XZ so they have updated the camera software so yeah here we go so this is exactly like the Sony Xperia XZ so kudos to Sony on updating the uh, uh, camera software on the Xperia X manual manual focus comes in real handy and uh, this manual shutter speed comes in handy when you want to click your photos on an, in a low light environment so that said let's move on to uh, the second new feature that is the multi window so if I launch play store over here and tap on this icon I can use the multi window feature press and hold and drag and drop it over here and now you can see I am using the uh, play store as well as I've got the settings open over here and you can see the play store is still open tap on this to resume 
and here we are now I can see this being used in um, say for example you've got word open and say for example I've got Chrome web browser open um, so if I'm searching for an article so now what I can do is use split screen like this and keep my documents open now you can see I'm working on my word document as well as I've got the uh, web browser open simultaneously and this will come in real handy if I want to copy and paste something so copy and now I can oops now I can paste it over here no problems and if I want to use Word and give Word a little bit more screen, I can just do this. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to use, but you'll get used to it. And if I want to give more screen area to the web browser, just do this. So, this is how a multi window works. gonna close word gonna close chrome now you can see nothing is running and uh, you guys might have already noticed that all of these settings all of the applications are still there my music is still there no problem so let's check out the uh you can see both the speakers are working sounds working no problems settings audio settings sound effects equalizer is still there you still got the uh, DSEEHX sound restoration feature and all of my apps are still there camera works no problems beautiful it's working and yeah you can see some of the applications don't really support split screen like this music app doesn't support so I'm guessing Sony has to update these applications so that they can uh, use the split screen feature but yeah you can see the album is working in split screen music doesn't work camera doesn't work in split screen so yeah uh, hopefully they'll update it soon enough yeah, Instagram also does not work on split screen. So if I hold this, you can see app does not support split screen. And yeah, I'm guessing there are very few apps that support split screen feature, but uh, we can't do anything about it. Uh, it's up to the manufacturer and Google to update these apps so that they can support split screen feature. Uh, anyway, everything is working fine a little bit of multitasking here and there YouTube will work with split screen no problem so let me open a few of these applications and see let's go to GSM Arena Let's open a new tab. Let's go back to the PowerPoint presentation. You can see absolutely no problem. Let's open the uh, music player. Let's open weather. Uh, till now, no problems. Play Store, Camera, 
let's open word You can see the phone isn't really uh, slowing down even though I've opened a lot of applications they're still running let's go back to the web browser YouTube oh, it's asking me to set up the uh, lock screen PowerPoint is still running uh, yeah, they have in, in, yeah, they have significantly improved the uh, multitasking capabilities of this phone uh, after the uh, Android 7 update. So yeah, let me just show you the uh, about phone. So you can see the Android security patch level is 1st December 2016. Android 7. Android Nougat pretty awesome oh there's a little there was a little cat face down there there we go so yeah guys everything is working fine absolutely no issues with multitasking but yeah some of the apps doesn't uh, doesn't really work in split screen. You can see it's already showing app doesn't support split screen. So yeah, you can see I can't really dock other applications now because this particular app doesn't support split screen. So let's go ahead and YouTube. And again, it's telling me YouTube also does not support split screen. So here we go. So yeah guys, thank you for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like this. I might do an in-depth review of this update. So yeah, you guys got to stay tuned for that. Uh, other than that, everything is working fine. You can change the uh, font size on the screen now. So this is set to small. You can see everything has turned even more smaller now. Uh, let's go back here and change it to default which is probably the best for this phone but anyway everything is working fine I'm really happy with this update I have been using Android 7 on my Xperia XZ so far no problem so guys thank you for watching this video and do, do stay tuned for more videos if you have any questions feel free to ask me so see you all later bye